hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to make these very cute little octopus so get your materials ready and let's get started okay so we're going to start with the head and we'll start with the magic ring and then six single crochets into the magic ring so we'll do one two three four five and six okay and then i'll pull the yarn to close my gap okay and then i'll place my marker over there so now in the second row we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches so i'm going to increase okay increase in the next stitch two and increase in all the remaining stitches Okay, so now in the third row, we are going to do single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. So we'll do single crochet, then increase in the next stitch and repeat single crochet, increase. and you keep repeating that all the way round okay so now in the fourth row we are going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat all the way round for a total of 24 stitches so we'll do single crochet one single crochet two and increase and repeat two single crochets then increase in the next stitch and you keep repeating that all the way round Okay, so now after we are done with that now for the next seven rows which is from row 5 until row 11 we are going to do single crochets all the way around in each row for a total of 24 stitches in each row okay so I'll see you when you're done until the 11th row and then we'll do the 12th row together so after you're done until the 11th row this is how the head should look like okay so now in our 12th row we are going to do two single crochets then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet one single crochet two and then decrease and repeat two single crochets and decrease and you keep repeating that all the way round okay so now in the 13th row we are going to do single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way round for a total of 12 stitches so we'll do single crochet and decrease and repeat single crochet decrease 
and continue repeating that all the way round. Okay, so after we're done with that, now we're going to start making the tentacles. Okay, and we'll make eight of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to do chain 26. So we'll do chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. And then starting in the second chain from the hook, uh, we are going to do single crochet in the next 15 uh, stitches. Okay. So we're going to do here and do single crochet one, two, three, four, five, and continue until you have 15 single crochets. Okay, so after you have 15 single crochets, now in the remaining 10 stitches, we'll do half double crochets. So we'll have 10 half double crochets. So we'll do half double crochet. One. Half double crochet. Two. Half double crochet. Three. Okay, and continue doing half double crochets until you get here at the end. Okay, so after you get here where we started, you're going to go here into the next stitch and do single crochet. And then you repeat again and do uh, 20, chain 26. So you do chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, until you get a chain 26 and then you repeat the same way we did this one all the way around and you continue repeating all the way around until you have eight tentacles. Okay, so after you're done with the last tentacle, this is how it should look like. Okay, so you're going to go into the next stitch and then slip stitch and cut off the yarn like that then we're going to do the finish off over here so i'm just going to pull the yarn through like that okay so this is how it looks like as you can see over here like that Okay, so now we are going to construct the bottom part over here and it's quite easy. So what we'll do is we'll do six single crochets into the magic ring. So one, two, three, four, five, and six then pull the yarn to close the gap okay and then in the second row which is also the last row we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches 
okay so we're going to increase and increase the next stitch and continue increasing all the way to the end Okay, and now see, let's see if it covers here, like that, as you can see, so it's going to fit at the bottom. So what you're going, we're going to do is we're just going to finish off. So I'm going to go into the next stitch, slip stitch, and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing. Okay. So after we are done with that, now you're going to fill uh, your head fully, as you can see. So fill up uh, all the way to the end and, and then using the yarn and the needle, you're going to sew this one at the bottom. And then after that, you'll be done. Okay, so after I've put the uh, bottom part, this is how it looks, it looks like. And also, as you can see, I stuffed my head fully. And I also embroidered the little eyes at the front tentacles where we have the gap over here. So this is how it looks like, okay? So for the eyes, I counted just uh, one row from the bottom and from the second and the third row. That is uh, where I embroidered my little eyes like that, as you can see okay so also you can use the doll eyes if you have them you don't have to embroider them okay, so i hope you enjoyed this pattern and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below until next time bye